Hi everybody, this is Sniper Bob. I'm just doing a quick tutorial video for the Gazelle and how you can use the targeting camera and the navigation system to get the coordinates of a target. Now there's currently no automated way to do this, so you'll need to either be a math prodigy or alternatively have access to a scientific calculator, specifically one that has the sine and cosine functions. So let's get right to it. First we'll need to set up the navigation system in preparation for this. So you'll need to store your current position. To do that is quite easy. Switch the rotary to the PP position. Press gel. Switch the rotary back to the butt position. Select the waypoint number that you want to store. I'll use waypoint 9. And then press enter. And that stores your current position as waypoint 9. And if you flip back and forth between these, you'll see they match up. Then we'll have to switch to UTM coordinates from the lat long. You just press the Geo UTM button to do that, and it will just, it switches back and forth. It doesn't modify anything, it just changes the display. So that's all there is really for the setup. We do need one more piece of information from the navigation system, and that's the magnetic declination. So to get that, you can switch the rotary to the CM deck or desk position. And the bottom number here with the degree symbol is the magnetic declination of your current position. Right here it's 12 degrees and 16 and something or others. I'm not really sure. This method is really only accurate to uh, approximately one degree, so that's not really uh, even necessary for this. It, you can ignore it if you feel like. I'll switch this back to the butt position. We'll need to remember the declination for the calculation we're going to use in a second. So now let's switch over to the gunner seat and turn on the targeting camera so we can find the vehicle. Let's see where... there it is. I placed an Abrams on the airfield here. There is an issue with the laser rangefinder uh, currently, at least in this update, where it will pass through objects, so you'll need to aim it at the ground, right at the base of the vehicle. So if we place it there and we hit the range button, we'll see it is 6362 meters away. This number here on the top is the bearing, or the heading your helicopter is facing, and this number right below it is the direction the camera is facing relative to the helicopter. Uh, I just so happen to actually be facing the right direction currently. Uh, the camera is right in line with the vehicle. Uh, you can press the slave to target button on the stick. Um, I think it's actually that. You can click it with the mouse. Um, it will line the helicopter up with the camera. We need to know the direction or the bearing to this vehicle. Uh, it makes it easy right now. It's just 298 degrees, but if this was a little bit to the left or a little bit to the right, we would need to uh, account for that. So that's all the information we'd need. We can go ahead and do the calculation now. So what you'll need to type into your calculator for the... Uh, hop back over here. For the north-south UTM coordinate is you'll need to enter cosine and then the bearing to the target, which is 298 degrees, plus the magnetic declination, which currently is 12, I'll call it 12.1 degrees right now, and then close the parentheses, and multiply that by the range to the target in meters, 6362 divided by 10, because this display here is really accurate only to 10 meters. So every increment of this digit here, or this digit here, is actually 10 meters. And this targeting camera is accurate to 1 meter, which is quite impressive. Uh, so we divide that number by 10 so that the units match up between the two. Um, and then we add that to this number up here, the top line. So three nine nine zero zero four.
Now I'll put this formula in an annotation on the video and in the video description. But just to recap, for this top number, we do cosine bearing to target plus magnetic declination times range to target divided by 10 plus this top number here. And when I do that, I get 399414. So we'll go ahead and enter that on this top line here. To do that, you press the enter key. Now I'll start blinking. Hit the F button to clear some of the, the digits so you have only what you need. To, so it's 399414. And then we'll hit the down arrow key in preparation for this one. Uh, don't clear it yet because we do need this number. Uh, now to get the bottom number, it's the exact same calculation as previously, except instead of cosine, we do sine, and instead of adding the top number, we just add that bottom number. That's 67214. Um, so again, if you're trying to follow along, it's sine bearing to target plus magnetic declination times range to target divided by 10 plus that number down there. And when we do that, we get 66727. So I will just clear that, 66727. And, wait, oh, sorry, 727. I messed that up. And hit enter. And that's it. So that is the coordinates of the target. And if you need that in the uh, lat long uh, degree decimal, you can hit that button and it will flip it back. It doesn't modify anything, it just changes back and forth. If we look at our compass, we see the compass is indeed pointed the right way uh, to the, the vehicle on the airfield. And the range is correct. I'm going to head and fly on over there, and we'll see just how close this point really is. Whoa. A bit of lag. I don't think it likes recording and flying at the same time. So as I'm flying over here, I'll just go ahead and mention I have created, if you have a graphing calculator, um, a, a program, I've written a program for both the TI-83 and the TI-89. Uh, I'll post a link to the, uh, the Hoggett forums on Reddit, um, and you can enter the program in your calculator there. I'll add a tutorial and everything. Um, you, you can... It, it will automate this whole process. You just uh, run the program, you type in the numbers that it prompts you to, and then it spits out the values that you put into your navigation system. Makes it very easy. You don't have to mess around with uh, you know trying to manually enter everything and remembering the, the formulas. It's just very basic prompts.
Just trying to get as close as possible to the point. Yep, there we go. So this is it right here. And I'd say that's pretty close. Vehicle's right there. And we're right on the taxiway next to it. I'll check the F10 map real quick. Zoom in. Measure the distance, and it is 0.03 nautical miles, which is pretty good. Uh, the further away you are from the target, the less accurate this will be. Uh, again, it's only accurate to about a degree, which um, I was messing around with the the, the, um, the camera earlier, and it, it spanned about that far at this range, so you, you want to get as close as possible when you're doing this. But still, it, it can give you pretty good results, and it's better than just trying to, you know, say, uh, out in the middle of the yellow green square field, or next to the, the small mound of dirt. It, this is substantially easier for any teammates 